Look at the pine trees along the ridge above the top of the spillway that was actually cut out part of a Corps of Engineers project. And just see how thin the soil is. And just think that beneath your feet, no matter where you go, there's a whole hidden world that records the past. So the next time you're in a pine forest, don't just think of the blanket of old needles. And, you know, they're amazing in themselves, but the way they have like toxins that poison the soil for any other plants to grow. But think of all the forms of life that are beneath the soil, beneath your view. And this spillway here that was cut out in order to uh, drain a dam in case the water levels became too high. So that the flow of the water is from behind me into this direction. So this is very rarely used, but somebody had it in their mind to, to protect a dam. So they built this spillway. And in building that spillway, they dug out this cliff here. And in that cliff, we find thousands and thousands of fossils. And I was lucky enough to see one actually erode right out of the, of the wall and fall down 10 or 12 feet at my feet. So. Come to Caesar Creek, Ohio, on Route 71, about midway between Cincinnati and Columbus. See if we can find it. Here's something already. Look at here in this rock here. There's all kinds of little shells and things that are in the rock. Mm -hmm. They don't let you um, use any tools. But all these things. This was the bottom of a shallow inland sea. And so a lot of things got deposited o over the millions of years. So let's see if we can find something. See this here? Mm -hmm. And all these different mollusks. What's this? Yeah, there's just billions of fossils here. It's an amazing place. So exciting to think of the history and the, the deep time that our Earth has experienced. Pretty cool, huh? Right there in the native rock, in the limestone. See the way it's flat? Like, does that remind you of a skipping stone? So this is a spillway that they cut out in order to drain the dam in case of high floods. And they just discovered all this layered limestone that holds this rich load of, of all these different fossils from hundreds of millions of years ago when Ohio used to be down in the tropics. Who knows how many millions of years each one of these layers represents. Look at the way it is. It's got, it's got like mud in between the layers of limestone. So there must have been different periods of history. Probably the hard limestone occurred when maybe there was lots of life. A lot of this stuff you can't take away. But it is just so beautiful to see. See that? Can you see the ridges there on that? 
on that mollusk. It's a beautiful fan shape. Can you see that? That's a good shot. That's right there in the native rock, and there it will sit, because we're not allowed to use tools. But we can see with our eyes and our senses. It's a circle, but it looks like it's a cross-section of a water plant. It looks like it has like little parts of the flower in the middle of it. And um, it's in the side of the rock. We're at such a, we are many, many layers deep. Each one of these thin layers of limestone is separated by this gray, greenish gray sort of clay. Can you see the water droplets coming down, constantly eroding? And you know, we've been finding really rich stuff right about eye level. One. 